welcome to Center Stage with Angelina and Remy. And today we have a very funny episode scheduled for you guys. And our first story that we are going to discuss is I came across an article that has um, some very funny stories about mother-in-law nightmares. Oh, nice. Cue the thunder and lightning in the background. <laughs> But um, but yes, they're they are quite funny, and I know lots of people can uh, relate to those. And then uh, the sitcom Friends, it's one of my favorites. Remy, I believe That's you watch right. that as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I have five things that I bet you don't know about Friends. Oh, okay. So, and then the uh, then I have one of Baron's jokes. Oh, you know, he's at the age where, you know, he's right. 14, and yeah. so things, you know, he's so cute because he thinks things are so funny that mm -hmm. I'm like, really? But, know. you know, so anyway, so I have one of Baron's jokes that I want to share with everyone, All right. and then we'll have the quote of the day. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Center Stage with Angelina and Remy. And today, Remy, would you like to hear some mother-in-law nightmare stories? I certainly <laughs> Well, this, um, I found this information uh, through, um, let's see, youandyourwedding.com. So oh, that's, that is the source of, the, of, this, uh, of this article. Um, but so, you know, it was rather funny. Let's see, the, the first one says, uh, and it's just kind of, you know, written in story form, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Okay, well, my mother-in-law stole a stack of our wedding invitations to send to her friends that were not invited. Yes, that's and cool. that's, that's a pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is really that is bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> and oh, um, Lord have mercy. So then the second one here. When my husband and I were dating, we went to visit my mother-in-law. We were sitting in her dining room, and we had been there for about five minutes. When my husband said. I can't remember when I was last here in August. And my mother-in-law replies, Oh, I can. You brought Michelle here. How oh. is Michelle? <laughs> I miss her. She is so pretty. Oh. Do you keep in touch? Yeah, there you go. Tell her I said hello and I miss her so. <laughs> yeah, well, can you right. imagine? No, but I can believe it. Oh, yes. But yes, and I, I can, can too. I can too. And then the last one here. Mother-in-law says, While you were gone, I reorganized your kitchen. I didn't know why you had things placed where they were. Uh, oh, my God. That is time for just the battle, yes. I swear. I'm like, Really? Oh my really gosh. Bad. Although, that last one there, I can actually picture my mother-in-law doing. Oh, I know. Yes, <laughs> now, that would happen. I will say, though, just as, an, uh, as a little add-in here, is that I had a wonderful mother-in-law. Mm. She was so sweet, and she was so good to me. Oh. And she really was. Mm -hmm. I, I miss her terribly. That's wonderful. That is yeah. such a treasure to mm -hmm. have in your life. It really to, was. It mm -hmm. was just wonderful. She was so sweet. Mm -hmm. and we went out to uh, Colorado often to see her. Uh-huh. Well, that is wonderful. Yeah. I wish I could share your experience. <laughs> but, uh, well. <laughs> but moving on. Yes, let's move on. <laughs> okay. Oh, and um, Remy, I also wanted to mention we have someone that won our free gift. Oh, my goodness. What yes. great news is that? And so Michelle of uh, Jacksonville, Florida... There you go. One, this wonderful three-piece LED flameless pineapple set. And so, Michelle, we will be getting this out to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And uh, can't wait for you to receive it. And in case uh, you're just join joining us, what... Uh, 
we had a contest and we had asked a question about a previous show and the first person to answer the question correctly was a um, won this gift and so she so the question was um, uh, Remy was discussing her experience in ballet that she had taken ballet for five years and I had to talk you know I had to add my um, my experience with dance as well. Cultural experience. That's right. It was a cultural experience, and that experience, and that was the question. What was my um, uh, what dance experience. experience? And my dance my dance experience was um, square dancing. <laughs> I took square dancing in the seventh grade. So Michelle was the first one to have the correct answer. So well, I I think that's wonderful, yes. and we will continue to do those. Yes. Um, uh, pretty often. So mm -hmm. if you can remember what it's all about, that'd uh -huh. be great. That would and be great. I, I believe not this episode, but then the next one. Isn't that what we had said right. that we were going to? have another opportunity for you guys to win and we right. have another set of these and I think do we have one or two le left of those? I'm not exactly sure but okay. I do know that we have at least one. Okay so y'all keep your eyes and ears open. That's right. And um, these are just in time for uh, spring and summer. Uh huh. So um, they're lovely. Mm -hmm. They are. Yes. They And I and, love the pineapples. Well the pineapple is actually a I'm not real sure where, what culture it's in, but I think it's ours. Mm -hmm. Is the you know welcoming? That's it's, right. It's welcoming and embracing the people that come to your mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. So it's a um, sign of hospitality. Very, that's what yeah. I'm looking forward. Mm -hmm. Just going to think of it. <laughs> CRS, but uh, you know, but that's right. It's a sign of hospitality. Mm -hmm. So they're they're going to be lovely. Yes, I hope you enjoy them. Well, moving on, we'll see where are we now. Ah, I was going to share um, my son Baron. Oh, he yes. is 14 years old, and he is, um, I know you guys out there can relate to this, but he's 14, so he's at the age where he, you know, he has kind of a quirky sense of humor. And, um, but the other day, I had, uh, I picked him up from school, and he was just giggling in the back seat. Uh, you know, I'm like, you know what's going on? He's like, oh, I just I heard this. Th I heard a joke today, and it is just it's the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. And so I'm okay. Well, share it with me. So I'm going to share it with you guys. <laughs> okay. So the joke is okay. See if you I can have figure not heard, it out. That's I have not right. Heard this. Remy has not heard it at all. No, no, I have not at all. Okay, Remy, you're in a room. No doors and no windows. The only thing that you have is a table and a chainsaw. <laughs> How do you get out of the room? A table and a chainsaw. Mm -hmm. There's, There's no, no doors windows and no, no, no windows. doors. Well, um,. I have no idea. <laughs> I hate to say it because I know that sounds you can't, silly. I can't, can't, can't come up with anything. Okay. I think I might take a chainsaw to the wall and see if I can cut through it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I had mentioned too. I'm yeah. like, you know, well, you know, see. And he said, no, it's it's impossible. He said, you can't. So anyway, so the answer is <laughs> you cut the table in half with the chainsaw and two halves make a hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he God. could not hardly get it out because he was laughing so hard. Well, it is a and cute joke. It is very cute. It is very cute. And of course, I had to do the mom thing yeah. and joke or and, and laugh, laugh as though, right. you know, my stomach was, Baron, you know. Baron's a sensitive young yes, man. Yes, yes, he is. And um, he would be very upset. That's right. Know. That is right. So, so I just thought I would pass that on. Absolutely. I need a good joke every now and then. But, so, well, in this next segment, 
I want, um, I'm, uh, I know you liked the sitcom Friends. Yeah, very much. And that I watch it all the time. I mean, that's one of the shows I like to watch in the evening when I'm trying to wind down and get ready for bed. And, you know, it's one of those shows you can kind of put on in the background. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's not anything that, that you really have to follow, you know. Yeah. And so, you know. So, anyway, so... um. And Friends is one of my favorite, favorite shows. The other one being Frasier. Frasier is my top right now. Um, but anyway, I came across an article, and um, it had some very interesting things about Friends. And it was titled, Five Things You Don't Know About Friends. And, of course, we know, you know, the cast. Monica, Chandler, Joey, and Phoebe. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the first one is... When the show was first written, actually, Joey and Monica were supposed to be love interests. Oh. So could you imagine, I mean, now knowing oh, the show know, for there, what it and, is, and, and can well, you imagine? personalities on the right, show. Right. That would have never worked. It just, it, it, it would not have. No. And so I thought that, that was, you know, interesting. You know, yes, I'm like, wow. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. they didn't go there with it because, no. you know. It wouldn't have made sense. Mm -mm -mm, it just would not have worked. And then, let's see, the second one here, oh, th this was interesting. Um, and this really put things, I was able to appreciate this, uh, this information a lot more since, you know, now that we know what it takes to, you know, get the set ready oh, and filming and getting, you know, know, retakes and, All you that. know, and everything. But the average episode, took five hours to film. Really? Five hours. Yeah. So, and like I said, you know, I, I can appreciate that now since, you know. That's actually pretty quick. And, uh, actually, but for yeah. a 30 minute. Well, I know. You know. know that's good. But, um, so then as we go on, uh, Joey, oh, you remember Joey and Chandler's big white dog, you know? No, I don't. You, you, you don't remember? No, it was the... The, the great big white dog, and it stayed like in the back of their apartment. Was and, it a real dog? Or was no, 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 no. It was, oh. um, it was, I guess, made out of ceramic. Oh, okay. um, but I oh, mean, it okay. stood like yeah, from the right. floor, okay. like okay. maybe this tall. I think I do remember. I mean, it was a huge, yeah. huge, um, and I believe it was a greyhound. Oh, it was yeah, okay. a greyhound. Um, so, anyways, but Joey and Chandler's big. Big White Dog actually belonged to Jennifer Aniston, and a friend had given it to her as a good luck gift when the show first started. Oh, that's neat. And so, oh, cool. mm -hmm. and um, let's see. Oh, and uh, Ellen DeGeneres. I love her. I, I, I really oh, like Ellen. Yeah. Uh, but she turned down an offer to play Phoebe. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. And That's which I think that would have been an interesting oh, choice. I mean, I, I think Phoebe it would have. So good. But now having known Phoebe right. and and Lisa Kudrow, just I mean, she really oh, mastered well, that you, character. Well, you know what? That her character, she is um, kind of like what we call the schizoid personality. Oh, okay. The he. I was at a seminar and they were saying that, and so we're all looking and. Like, who could we, you know, put this to? Who could we uh -huh. this to? And um, he said, schizoid personality is like a Kramer off uh, of Seinfeld. Seinfeld. That's or, another one of my favorites. Oh, my I know you too. really like that one, too. And, um, and, uh, Phoebe and Phoebe off mm -hmm. of Friends. In other words, they say things and you're like, what? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. They're just kind of different. Uh huh. And you can't love them. Right. You but can't lovable. help not to love them I because know, that's right. I mean, they're just you know, it's just such a unique it type is. of personality, mm -hmm. and you very know, and they're so. very, you know, and I, I imagine they're very fun. I mean, oh, you know, gosh, you know it. Yes. With going by those two examples, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, could you imagine being, oh, you know, with goodness. the I character can't Kramer? Being I with mean, them without. Cracking up most right. of the time. Right. Uh huh. But, uh, well, interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. I'll tell you. And so then the last one here uh, by the final season, each of them received a million dollars per episode. 
So for every 30 minute show, they earned a million dollars in that last season, in the final um, season. I'll add this just because it's an interesting, interesting note. I had read or seen mm -hmm. on something uh, way back when it was popular uh -huh. that they were the first group. Um, you talk about friends? Yeah. Okay. Um, to ever go in as oh. a group mm -hmm. and ask for a raise. Yes. But they did not, they weren't trying to overstep each other, push right. anybody out or anything. They all they just all linked arms went. and, and right. did it as a group. And, and, and confronted them as a group. Mm -hmm. And I really, I think that's just remarkable. Mm -hmm. I, I, really I do, do admire that mm -hmm. of them. Because mm -hmm. um, uh, that's what kind of people they were. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And because yeah. um, I, uh, we were watching something, it's been maybe a year ago or so, but it was something about uh, the Friends um, uh, actors, and um, at that, they said that they still all keep in touch. Oh, yeah. That they are I still, think you know, all friends. Mm -hmm. yes. Genuine Truly, friends. They are friends. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and good folks, I think mm -hmm. they are. Yeah, it's definitely a classic. It'll mm -hmm. be around for oh, a very long just time. Just like Seinfeld. Right. You know, just, yes. Yeah. But, um,. So, we'll go moving on. Well, the last thing that we have <clears throat> is the quote of the day. Oh, that's very good. And I really like this one. And it is, oops, it is a quote by Abraham Lincoln. And it is... Better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak out and remove all doubt. And so many people should really I take know. this to I, heart. I, I think I should, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are not one you. of the people. <laughs> but when you think about it, sometimes you say something and you go, why in the world did I say that? Uh-huh. It, or, you know, or you're hearing someone yeah. and you're like, Really? I know. If they could hear themselves <laughs> well, right know now, exactly you true. know, you know, yes. they do not know what they're talking yeah. about, but they're trying to come off right. as an expert in the field, That's right. and it's yeah. so obvious you're just full of shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> We're you're a family full of crap. Program. <laughs> That's right. We'll edit yeah. that out. <laughs> We'll believe it. That's what you do, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> but well, anyway, that is a very famous phrase, mm -hmm. a quote, and it couldn't be truer. Mm -hmm. it is oh, absolutely, absolutely true. Mm -hmm. it really is. So, so okay. I think that's a good ending for absolutely. the show today. Absolutely. So, if you don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Don't say a word. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh -huh. people will know. I they mean, they will know. Mm -hmm. yes. They may not say right. it, you know, unless but you, they will know. Unless you are in a room full of certified idiots. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and that you know they are. Uh -huh. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. Well, well, that's all for today, guys. And uh, please like and share and subscribe and. We appreciate the time, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.